very good morning to all of you welcome to excellency ias friends today we are going to study about the fundamental rights this chapter is very important for your exam point of view so whenever you study this chapter you need to know aur jab bhi fundamental rights ki baat karte hain then you need to know about what is fundamental rights what is the need to have the fundamental rights article 368 जिसको कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट पावर ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट भी बोलते हैं सो वट टू द एक्सटेंट दैट पार्लियामेंट कैन कर्टेल द फंडामेंटल राइट ओके एंड इज इट सो फंडामेंटल इन दल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल हमारा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ चिक्स एंड बैलेंस पे बेस्ड है सो इज इट सो द फंडामेंटल राइट ऑफ फेल्ड दिस प्रिंसिपल सो ऑल दोज एस्पेक्ट यू नीड टू स्टडी इन द डिटेल एंड इन ए कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव मैनर we will try to cover up all those aspect and various other aspect in our the classroom program so let us start our the today's class so friend the very first concept you need to know that what is fundamental rights so fundamental right the first point you need to remember is these are the claims against the arbitrary actions of the states तो क्या है द फंडामेंटल राइट क्या है क्लेम्स अगेंस्ट द आर्बिट्ररी एक्शन ऑफ द स्टेट सेकेंड पॉइंट द फंडामेंटल राइट आर जस्टिसबल राइट ठीक है हम लोग बात कर चुके हैं कई बार वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ जस्टिसबल एंड नॉन जस्टिसबल जस्टिसबल मीन्स इन केस ऑफ द वायोलेशन दट पर्सन कैन गो टू द कोर्ट एंड द कोर्ट विल री स्टोर द राइट थ्रू इशू ऑफ रीट्स That is habeas corpus, mandamus, prohibition, certiorari, and quo warranto. In case of the violations, the person go to the court, and court can restore the fundamental rights through the issue of the writs. These are the habeas corpus, mandamus, prohibition, certiorari, and quo warranto. These writs ke naam hain. Ham log iske baare mein bhi detail mein padenge. Second point is that the fundamental rights are mentioned in part third of the constitution. part 3 of the constitution and part 3 is referred as magna carta of india kya bolte hai isko magna carta of india because that part 3 mein bahut detailed and comprehensive manner mein fundamental rights ko describe kiya gaya hai detailed way mein isko present kiya gaya hai second point that fundamental rights what are the articles covered that is the article 12 to article 35 these are fundamental rights isme se article 12 defines the term state for the part 3 okay states ke modern definitions ko hum log baat kar chuke hain so now this article 12 will define the state okay for this part 3 article 13 it will define the concept of law for the part 3 okay and article 14 to article 32 it actually talks about the fundamental rights all those rights and article 33 article 34 and article 35 Article 33 it actually talks about the limitations and scope of operations of the fundamental right in case of the paramilitary forces or you can remember armed forces for article 34 that is during the operations of the military rule or the martial law what is the limitations of the operations of the fundamental right and article 35 article 35 it talks about the how these rights to be are going to be executed matlab what is the manner of executions of these rights okay so overall ye facts hai you need to remember what is the part 3 that is called magna carta article 12 to 35 these are the articles related to the fundamental rights article 12 defines the term state for the purpose of the fundamental right article 13 defines the law for the purpose of the funda fundamental right that is part 3 then article 14 to like article 32 these all talks about the six fundamental rights isme se right to property was abolished we will see and that article 33 that is in case of the armed personnel what is the limitations of fundamental right 34 it talks about during the operations of the military rule or that martial law what is the scope and what is the limitations of fundamental right and article 35 it talks about the nature of execution or nature of how this fundamental right are going to be executed whether they are self executory or can they can be executed with the law or with the help of a legislation okay so fundamental rights are claims against the arbitrary actions of the states clear now let us begin and try to understand one by one 
Now let us understand some of the basics about the fundamental rights. That why these are called fundamental rights? There are the two important reasons. Okay, because these are guaranteed by the fundamental law of the land and second that these rights are basic and fundamental for all round development of the individual. The first reason is the fundamental law of the land guarantee karta hai. So what is fundamental of land? That is constitution of India. Okay, and these are very fundamental in all round development of the individual. The fundamental rights actually want to promote the political democracy. It actually want to ensure the equality of the individual. It actually want to afford the individual dignity. So that is why the fundamental rights are very essential and very necessary and these are guaranteed and protected by the fundamental law of the land that is constitutions. So this is the first aspect. Now your fundamental rights, the constitution of USA may bill of rights say derive kya gaya hai. So what is the source from here the fundamental rights is borrowed? It is the bill of rights of USA. And third aspect friend that in Britain, because constitutions ki supremacy nahi hai. Kya hai supremacy? Parliament is a sovereign. So thereby, wapar fundamental law of the land, constitution nahi hai. So that is why there is no fundamental rights. So that is why in Britain may yaad rakhye, that constitution is not fundamental, not fundamental law of the land. The constitution is not the supreme. So thereby the set of rights are not called fundamental rights. Now fundamental rights also want to afford the rule of law. Hum log padhenge ke rule of law, the concept of AV dicey. So concept of AV dicey of rule of law, jis mein teen points ke baat karte nge wo. So through the fundamental rights, the government of law ko establish karne ke baat ki jati hai. Okay, it actually want to assert the rule of law. So rule of law is basically a, the concept given by the AV dicey, a British jurist. Is mein teen important concept ki baat kari gi, ki gai hai. The first one, the absence of arbitrariness. Second, is equality before the law. And third, that constitution is the result of individual rights. What is the constitution is the result of individual rights. Isko hum log baad mein bhi padhenge. Okay. So, ye jo third aspect hai, that constitution is the result of all the individual rights. Ye hum log Indian constitutions mein incorporate nahi kiya gaya hai. Rather, constitution is the source of the rights of the individual. Ye humara Indian constitution provide karta hai. Okay. So, what is the ultimate source of right? It is the constitution of India. Okay. Now, the, these are the four important aspects you need to know. First, it is why it is called fundamental right. Second, that from the Bill of Rights, it is the borrowed. In Britain ke context, mein kya status hai? And actually, the fundamental right want to establish a rule of law that is government by the laws and not the government by the man. Okay. It want to establish a limited government. Okay. The, it want to affirm the principle of constitutionalism. Okay. It do not want to establish a totalitarian state a dictator state okay an autocratic state so these are all you need to know about this chapter so let us move further all these you need to read from these textbook and from the text line and also from your own textbook that is Lakshmi Khan textbook okay all are written here originally our constitutions may kitane fundamental rights se? seven fundamental rights se. okay that is 14 to article 32 Usme say there was a right that is called right to property that is article number 31 and that was abolished isko abolished kar diya gaya hai and it was made a legal rights kya bana diya gaya isko a legal rights under article 300a so in a nutshell what we can say that abhi kitne fundamental rights hai they are the six fundamental rights that is right to equality right to freedom right against exploitations the right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights and right to constitutional remedy. This is what you have Okay, word by word you need to remember. So these are the six fundamental rights we currently have. And the article 31 which provided for right to property, it was abolished through the 44th constitutional amendment that you have And when it was done? 1978. And it was made a legal right under article 300A. So, dosto, we are wrapping over the class here. So, today is an introduction class and we have studied the basic definitions of the fundamental right. It is called the Magna Carta and it is enshrined in the part 3 of the constitutions. Article number 12 se leke 35 tak fundamental rights related provisions in our constitutions. 
we have studied the some basic terms like what is the meaning of justiciable non justiciable what is the legal rights what is the difference between with the fundamental rights and supreme court is called the guarantor and the protector of the fundamental rights okay so all those things you keep in mind in the next lecture the next class would be a little bit uh, longer and that is around the half an hour period so for a basic thing with respect to the preparations of the civil service exam is the persistence and the determinations okay so for the revise your previous class so last but not the least you stay safe stay healthy we again meet with the next class so thanks have a nice day